Hi guys, welcome to the Seven Man Show. Me, your host Sean. This is uh, my look at a very good food company and why I'm steering clear when all the other YouTubers are saying to buy. I'm sorry if this, that upsets you. If you're an investor, uh, good luck. I hope it takes off. However, people are calling it an expert beyond me. And remember Peter Lynch's word, never get into a company that's the next anything. When people called Tattoo Chef the next beyond me, I said, it's not the next beyond me. Impossible Brands is the closest thing to beyond me. Tattoo Chef is a brand for people who want a whole plant-based meal and don't want GM plant-based uh, afraid of Beyond Meat because it's GM so anyway let's get on with it now if you look, try to look at the financials they your finance doesn't have money there is a low float sorry about the background noise it's Halloween and you see their operating cash flow minus 2.32 million total debt 2.69 million that already has warning bells for me such a young company no, it's a good. No, the price to book and price to sales is incredibly high. Now, if that was lower, I could think, well, it's a growth company. You know, but then you look deeper into it and you see things like. <laughs> Current people who have and thirty percent of it, they got in an average of ten cents a share. They awarded themselves share at zero point no 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 two seven six cents a share. Nothing of zero point one four cents a share. Zero point two five cents a share. Zero point one four seven cents a share. Now these things are there. Now. These things, they all kind of make you think. Right, they've got it in a month ago. Uh, sorry, two months ago, ten cents a share, and you're paying three dollars thirty. But then, even that, if it was on its own, I could forgive. Because workhorse, when I, I got in at eight dollars, other people got in at thirty dollars. I got in at eight dollars. I know people who got in at two dollars. Neo, I got in at three dollars. Because I got in a couple of months before other people. It's a month can make a huge difference in the market. So that I won't waste too much time on. But there are other things. Guys, welcome to the Savvy Money Show. Me, your host, Sean. If you want to help support the channel, don't forget to smash that lovely like button. And don't forget to hit the bell notification if you want to be reminded of when a video gets uploaded. And why not smash the sexy subscribe button? A lot sexier than me. Just ask the wife. And because I upload multiple times a day and while you're at it why not comment in the comment box down below I'm uh, also putting a load of free links in the description box why not check them out and uh, if you're looking for a free trading platform on which to trade your stocks and shares why not check out free trade trading with 212 and stake you get a free share worth up to 200 pounds or dollars uh, for signing up and depositing a small amount. 
it's not. Oh, official shares, 15 million shares to their friends, approximately 15 cents a share, uh, equals $2.2 .2 million. And that giving them self a $5.5 million valuation. That was after they've loaned their, co their own company $800,000. Now, a creator of a company loaning the company money isn't unusual at the start because they want to secure their own funds. But then getting the interest rate uh, secured so that uh, there's a few things in there that just don't sit right, right with me and when they don't sit right with me I just don't invest and so they've scooped up 30% at a preferential rate they've then given their friends a preferential rate telling them it's going to be a massive amount and then they've gone to their then they've told their friends to tell others about it not to do sales but to that they should invest in it and what they've done they get their friends to tell their friends that they're going to market they're going to IPO and that they should buy direct from them and they get another couple of million in investors and they end up uh, pushing it even further they and their friends friends put, help push the stock to two dollars and they end up pushing the stock up to 180 million dollars and so what they're doing is they're issuing more shares planning to grow the business and grow the price and if they keep doing it that way uh, 369 billion dollar uh, market cap could be in range that's what they're telling people and if you look on the balance sheet there's another 800 thousand uh, dollar there's another 800 thousand dollar expenditure for PR now I hope this isn't for financing youtubers I honestly don't because I'd hate to think youtubers have been financed this but uh, to tell the truth uh, I'm surprised I'm surprised the likes of Jeremy has gone in here because he hates penny stocks I'm surprised some of the people have done it. To tell the truth, I think some of them have just jumped on the bandwagon because he's gone on it. Because he has such a following. And if I think if things like this keep happening, the SEC are going to take action with YouTubers. Financial YouTubers. Purely because they have such a following. Now... I respect Jeremy, I think he's a great guy. I don't think he's the type to take a bung for to go into shares, but that doesn't mean other people aren't. He may have seen the share price rise quickly, and I've told you the reason why. They've hyped it up, and suddenly think I'm going to get on this. I. There are some things in the background when I've looked, done the background search that just don't sit right with me. Right. But some of the some of I think seem very weird. You know, two million dollars in assets, and yet their market caps this big. They're not a tech company where that could be justified. 
they don't have like a certain pattern a unique pattern where they could be like that it's not like they're zoom where they're like the leader in their field it's not like they are beyond me where they're the first to mark here you know they don't even have sales like a lot of sales so I just think that I think that there's they're playing the hype train and winning remember what happened with Nikola when that happened I'm urging you to be careful especially with the way the market is at the moment and anyway I will that's all for now I hope I'm wrong because a lot of people will lose money if I am but remember Jeremy's picks lately haven't been stellar the likes of NAT you know anyway that's all for now I'll see you in the next video